This problem is called goat Latin and here uh, you will be given one English sentence and you have to convert to this uh, fixed language called goat Latin and there are some rules by which we have to make the conversion. So let's look at an example. So this is the input. It's an English sentence and uh, it consists of just uh, lowercase and uppercase letters and words are separated by space. So what we have to do if we encounter a word which starts with a vowel in this case I then we append M A to that word in the end. So you see M A here and if it's not a vowel, for example, this case, then pick the first character, put it in the end. So this is the word and then add this M A. So this M A is added to everything. But here in the case of vowels, we don't change this word. But in the case of consonant, we pick the first character and put it in the end and then we append ma and then we append another suffix which is for first word it's a so you can see ma here then here the suffix is aa third word it will be aaa fourth word it will be aaaa so these things are irrespective of uh, vowel or consonant so ma plus some suffix which starts from a and each time we increase by one so this should be very simple. Uh, only thing is that you can, it will give you some familiarity with the language construct for C++. We will use string stream to tokenize the words for Java and Python. We will use split. So this will give you just some exercise of these uh, functions how to use them and now let's see the time complexity here so what we are doing uh, we are going through the character by character you can think of that so let's say there are n characters in the word in this uh, sentence not word it will have different words so what is the time complexity we have to scan through these words and uh, we have to pick first character remove it and put it in the end of the word so that will be of the order of word length that thing removing the character and putting it to the end so let's say word length is w i'm talking about average word length so it will be of the order of w uh, then what else we need to do uh, so we will build this uh, result from scratch so result is initially empty we pick the first word in the worst case let's take the worst case we inserted it in the end so w is added then we added ma which is constant time then we added suffix which will depend on which word is it so it will be one for first word two for second word three for third word and let's say there are uh, k number of words so it can go up to this so just for the suffix part total time will be this much so k square it's k multiplied by k plus one by two so this is for suffix part and for other things ma is constant and uh, then the sum of each word that is n so it should be n plus k square the time complexity and space we are uh, using this as the result so again it's n plus k square so n is the original number of characters and then we add these many characters and plus uh, 2k in the end for ma for each word so still it remains n plus k square so let's uh, write the code for this so we create this string stream from this string so this is string stream lets you uh, it lets you treat this string as stream so you can read from it and you can also write to this stream then we will need one result so initially it will be empty we will just keep appending it so we will pop word by word and then append suffixes to it and then append to the result with a space so we need a result we will also need word so we will read word by word and then we will have one suffix where it will be just uh, some a's starting with 1a and then 2a 3a 4a 
then we need vowels so since it can consists of both lower case and upper case letters there are total five vowels so two times that 10 so it would be bad to compare with all the 10 values with or operator so better keep them in a set a e So this is the set of vowels. So this is the way to read word from it. And there is the other operator also if you want to insert into it. So suffix each time we will increase append extra a to the suffix. And if vowels not find word 0 if first is not vowel then this will be vowels dot end it did not find it so it's not a vowel so we have to pick the first character and append it to the end so word equal to word dot substring from second character till the end plus first character and then result we append the word uh, then we append ma plus suffix plus one extra space so we will have one extra space uh, when we inserted the last word so we will need to get rid of that and this matches with this so submit and the solution is accepted now we will write this in java and python where we will use the split function so we will use string builder and suffix is initially empty and then we need this vowels and then we can create a set from this array we will convert it first to set So this array we convert it to list and then create has set from that and and we split on the basis of one space
So here we don't need result, this string builder, we will convert it to string and return. We can also take substring to remove the last space. So take substring from beginning till uh, last minus one. Or delete care at. incompatible so we need to pass a string here and finally it's um, matching so let's submit and the Java solution is accepted. Finally, we will do it in Python 3. So let's copy this first. So result is empty. Suffix is also empty. So we need to get rid of the last space, so we are taking one less character. And the Python solution is also accepted. <laughs>